Hello and welcome to a series of videos all about Dominica, the nature island of the Caribbean. I recently spent some time there and I loved it so much that I decided to create three videos all about my experience. From the arrival process from London to Dominica, eating and exploring around the island and also what carnival is like in Dominica. Hope you enjoy it and let's get stuck in from when I first arrived in Gatwick Airport. Good morning everyone. This is my first ever vlog on the new GoPro Hero 8. I only briefly owned a GoPro GoPro? A GoPro. I had four hours of sleep. I'm a bit delirious. Normally I film it on a Canon G7X Mark II or Mark III. Currently at Gatwick Airport South Terminal and I rarely fly from this terminal because normally I am always in the north one or typically in Heathrow. But it's oh, pretty cool. I have filmed a video all about things to know before traveling to Gatwick Airport. So if you are new to the channel and you are yeah. new to Gatwick and you would like to find out some more, then check it out. I am flying to somewhere very special today, which is, drum roll please, da -da 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 -da. I am flying to the island of Dominica in Caribbean via Antigua. A whole incredible week of activities has been planned, including whale watching, because it's the only country in the world where you can pretty much hopefully see sperm whales all year round, because that's the only place where they reside for all 12 months of the year. We've also got carnival week coming up, so we're going to see the traditional costume parade. We've got some soul for experience baths coming up, two brand new hotels that we're going to be staying in and I cannot wait which is why I've invested in a GoPro so I really want to take this travel experience underwater in 2020. Anyway I now need to get a waterproof little stick off of this. Thank you so much, thank you. I'm really glad I didn't say you two have a safe flight because <laughs> I normally do. <laughs> yeah and they're normally like I'm not flying. Okay I am seat 31k by the window. So we took off from grey and rainy London, went through the clouds and then started to sit back, relax and choose my film to watch. And I was actually really surprised. We flew with British Airways and there's actually a surprisingly amount of films available in different languages. Today I opted to watch Parasite for the second time, Tomb Raider and Charlie's Angels. The lunch was chicken with mashed potato and really I picked it because I love mashed potato. Um, it also came with a side salad with chickpeas and aubergine and feta cheese and also some cheese and crackers and a black forest cake. Where are we? Da -da -da -da. Dominica! Which is 4.55, gate to number one, Liat. Hi. Hi. We are currently in Big Banana, which have you seen in my previous Antigua vlogs, they do really huge slice of pizza. But we are here with G and Tonic, G and Tonic, Gin and Tonic, <laughs> before we board our flight. Everyone say hey. Hey. to go onto the Liat flight over to Dominica. It's only about 40 minute flight on a small plane. The flight from Gatwick was about eight hours on the British Airways. Very, very smooth, went pretty well. The flight was quite cold, but overall it was really good. Caught a few films, had a little nap, and now I'm ready. I'm ready for the Caribbean. When you fly from Antigua to Dominica, make sure you pick up a landing card, which you can pick up from the airport in Antigua or from the air hostess on board. You just need to fill out your name, your passport details, the reasons for traveling, and then hand it in when you first arrive in customs. <laughs> Just arrived in Dominica, the nature island of the Caribbean, and as soon as you step outside, you are surrounded by greenery. And you can immediately tell you've fully immersed yourself into nature, and the airport is so colourful, it's very, very small, very cute, and it's just for carnival. The sun is setting, it's warm, it's humid, and I'm really happy. Look. And this is our taxi to Jungle Bay. The flight actually only took 30 minutes and it was a really, really pleasant and short flight. It is carnival season after all, so the car was filled with Calypso music and also the upcoming tracks that we'll be hearing a lot of over the next coming days. But it was so beautiful to look outside and be greeted with the palm trees and the heat and the colorful buildings. But where, if you do get a bit of travel sickness, some of the roads can get quite windy, so something to bear in mind if you want to take any motion sickness tablets with you. Just arrived at Jungle Bay Hotel, which is known as one of the best hotels on the island and it's been recently completely refurbished following a storm that happened a few years ago but more on that tomorrow the room is beautiful I'm going to include this in my eating and exploring Dominica video which you'll see after this one I really want to do it justice in the morning when it's light and the sunlight's coming in because right now it is about half eight but a sneak peek 
Oh, there's Becky. I think Becky's just coming to knock for me for dinner. Becky, I'm vlogging. Hello, it's Becky. She's my roommate. Do you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> I am Becky and um, I've come to take you to dinner. Let me put my camera down. We are now at the Seafew restaurant at Jungle Bay and I'm trying to sign between the catch of the day which is mahi mahi, love mahi mahi. But then there's also got an eggplant and tofu curry which sounds amazing as well but I think I'm going to go for the fish. Oh there's also country herbal chicken or stewed goat. I'm going to show you quickly around the restaurant while we wait to order. <laughs> Sorry, Emma. I'll do it serious. I'll do it serious. Okay. I don't normally like bread, but when it's served warm and fresh, I'm all over it. Ladies and gents, the first meal in Dominica. We've got some blackened mahi mahi, which is freshly caught today. And I've also picked to have it with some rice and also some root vegetable croquettes. Love me a croquette. Blackened mahi mahi was a great choice. It was so fresh and uh, it was really especially good dipped into the hot pepper sauce. It's had a meaty texture but not overly so and it was just great to end the night with such delicious bit of seafood. Good morning from Jungle Bay. Had such a good sleep. So I had about seven hours and woke up at 6.30 to the birds chirping. And I'm now just having a little walk around the resort. And it's so peaceful, honestly. It's just like you and nature and the birds and a few like lizards running past you as well. The sky is blue, the weather is warm. I'm all ready for our first day of exploring, which is going to be snorkeling and whale watching. And that's gonna be part of the second video in the series called Eating and Exploring Dominica. You can see a little bit more of my surroundings compared to last night, because we did arrive a little bit later. First impressions. So one thing that strikes me about the Caribbean, not only is the weather and temperament really, really beautiful, and I love the vibrancy with the culture. One thing that always strikes me is the warmth of the people. And as soon as you get off the plane, you're greeted with people who are like, welcome Dominica. There's a band playing, there's color everywhere. You get complimentary drinks. And everyone we've met so far have said, welcome to Dominica, is it your first time? We're so happy to have you here. And it just makes a world of difference to have that something so small something you know so easy to say but it really makes such a difference in uh, someone's experience of coming to a new destination and I just I'm really excited I'm really excited to experience carnival I'm really excited to get to know the people more I'm excited to get to know our driver Trevor more who seems like an absolute legend and said he'll teach me some dance moves I'm also going up here so I'm a bit like <sighs> Also, a few fun facts that I have learned so far about Dominica. There's 365 rivers here, and if you're a nature lover, then you're gonna absolutely love it here. There's a lot of things to do with adventure here. There's a lot to do with the luscious landscape. It's been named as the number one sustainable Caribbean island by National Geographic Traveler. Yeah, pretty cool. Really, really great experience so far. If you wanna see more of the hotels, more of the activities, then that's gonna be a dedicated video all about that. But I'm going to love you and leave you and head over to the second video. Thank you so much for watching this one. If you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, then consider subscribing for more food, travel and lifestyle videos from my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.